Hey Toolnuts, I'm Doug with Toolnut.com. So today we're going to be unboxing the DeWalt 13 amp electric cold water pressure washer. Let's open her up here and see what we got. So this is a 2400 max PSI and 1.1 gallon per minute max on that also. Uh, again, this is electric. And the biggest thing is cold water, no hot water. Uh, this is just over 45 pounds. And I'm just gonna give you a couple of basic specs here. All the other specs and information uh, you can find on our website at toolnut.com. So it's like first thing here is kind of hidden. So I always make sure, keep all your packaging. Just in case you miss something before you throw everything out, go back through it. Because you never know, some of this stuff gets hidden in there. Look through this really good here. And looks like I get everything. Uh, manuals stick into that. So in this bag, looks like you got your manual and a rotary nozzle. The other thing you have here is a clean out tool. That's for your nozzle tips when they, they get clogged. You can maybe go back over that uh, in a couple minutes once I start pulling the rest of this stuff out here. So you want to definitely retain that, your manual and a rotary nozzle. Put that to the side. Looks like it's boxed up pretty well here. So, all right, a little bit of assembly required. Basically, just gonna have to put the handle on. And you can see here, and look at that, that's nice. It's already stored in place. So you're getting a 15 degree, a 25 degree, a 40 degree, a soap dispenser nozzle, and then the turbo rotary nozzle that was in the other bag will go there. Nice rubber grommet so they stick in. These are standard tips for a pressure washer. So if you ever lose them, you don't necessarily have to buy the brand that you have. That aside. So here's your pressure washer hose. Uh, this is 25 foot, with quick connects. And screw on, or I should say screw on, excuse me. Looks like this is the other part of your wand. So that'll go together pretty quick also. And then we have the main unit. So again, just over 45 pounds, so nothing crazy. There are wheels built into this, 10 inch pneumatic wheels for it. So it'll roll around nice and easily. There you go. So not a lot of weight. And you can see here, here's your cord. This is 35 feet. Uh, again, this will work on a 13 amp circuit. And you can see here, there's a GFI built into this. So if you're running this off of an outlet that is not GFI protected, because this is a water tool, a lot of water tools come with uh, something like this built in. Uh, that way you don't have to go back in the house. If you do pop a breaker, uh, you can do it from outside and not in your panel, but it also is protecting you. All right, so that's 35 foot there. And you know what, I'm not gonna try to take that off now, but you can see, nice pneumatic tire, needs a little bit of air there. So for outside, going over grass and whatnot, it's good. So you got soap dispenser here built in. Here's your on off here on that. So a unit like this, you know, 2400 PSI uh, is great for around a house, you know, small job sites, uh, cleaning off your cars, maybe some siding. Uh, basic stuff, light duty. I mean, I would say if you're going to be doing this for a living, you're going to want to get more PSI, but 2400 is the perfect amount uh, for most people. And you can see how quick that went together. Just pop that in there. Uh, as far as the hose goes, you're going to connect the hose here. Let's take off the safety cap there. Just spins on. Biggest thing I've gone over in other videos, got to put some pressure. This is, there is a gasket, there it goes, now it's starting. Anytime you get a leak, possibly at one of your fittings, the first thing you're going to want to do is check the rubber uh, gasket that's on there. Uh, these do rot out, they fall off from time to time. So if you ever get a leak at one of the joints uh, where on your pressure washer, you're going to want to check that first. Just snug it up. And this is going to be your tool. And you can see here, there's one of the rubber gaskets I was talking about, you know, these can be found at most hardware stores if you ever lose it or if it rots out. 
from being in the weather. So we'll take out a rotary nozzle. Always important to just put these back so you don't lose or misplace them. Again, those are standard for the industry. And then I wanna go back over real quick. I showed the tool and the manual. It's just a metal loop with a straight on it, but it will fit inside if you ever get a clog in one of these tips. Just goes right there and you can clean it out. All right, so these again are standard. Let's show the wand. Wand also is a quick assembly. Again, you can see here's another gasket or uh, rubber O-ring in there. Always check that if you get leaks, make sure it's on. So you can see here, not a lot of assembly. You're basically ready to go almost out of the box. This is a standard coupler fitting for most pressure washers for quick change, just like a compressor. You can see here, this is just gonna pop in, pull this back first, and it goes in. Just make sure before you pull the trigger on the wand that this is really in there good. Sometimes you might not seat it all the way. You're gonna pull that trigger and this fitting is gonna go flying somewhere and then you gotta go try to find it and hopefully don't hit someone with it. So, click on that, back, and then this again is where your hose would connect to that. Basically take that off, screw it in again. It's a 25 foot hose. And then they have tool storage here. So you could store it on board like that. And then the cord wrap looks like there's a cord wrap here on the unit where you could wind this up and hang it. And then same thing here. Looks like you could put your, your hose and or your cord there. Also, it looks like it's got a nice little Velcro to quickly kind of hang it and store it. That's kind of nice, I like that. Quick and easy. And this is attached to the tool, so it's, or the pressure washer, so you're not gonna lose it um, on that. So, a couple of other things here I wanna point out. The biggest thing with pressure washers, this is where your hose is gonna connect. Okay, this is a standard, you know, garden hose connection, all right? You always want to first make sure the water is hooked up to this. Your hose is hooked up and the water is on before you turn the pressure washer on. It's extremely important. You never want to run this pump dry in any pressure washer, whether it's electric or gas. Uh, the other thing to point out, sometimes there could be sediment in your line or from your well or wherever you're getting your water source from. There's a little screen in here. If you're ever getting it to where the pressure is lower, first thing you want to check, Make sure the water's on, obviously. The second thing is to disconnect it, turn everything off, and check this screen. Make sure it's clear. You also wanna make sure that's always in there so you're not getting stuff going into the pump. All right, soap dispenser is standard. You don't have to always use it on stuff. Uh, that's up to you. You're gonna use a standard you know, pressure washer, soap, or cleanser. You just dump it in there, and it will automatically, as the water gets pulled through and goes to the gun, will automatically siphon the soap or cleaner into the line and mix it with your water. So pretty cool. Um, the other last thing really to point out here, the Walt did a great job. They put a quick startup guide right on the unit, telling you what to do. So if it's been a while since you used it, then uh, you got your quick setup here and reminders. The other thing with pressure washers or anything uh, that you use with water, to remember, if you're in like the Northeast or somewhere where it gets cold, like we are here, you always wanna store this inside a attached garage or somewhere where it's not gonna go uh, and be frozen below a certain uh, temperature. You might think that you're draining these out. You're not always gonna get all the water out. You leave it outside in a shed or a disconnected garage or something like that where it gets below freezing, you're gonna possibly crack your pump. You're gonna hook this up the following season and you're gonna connect it, turn it on and you're gonna find some leaks. Uh, that means that you, you blew the seals or gaskets on it uh, or it froze, so it's not good. That's the other big uh, thing that we see over the years with any pressure washer, again, whether it's gas or electric. All right, so uh, yeah, that's about it. I think we hit everything again. Uh, all the other specs and info for this are on toolnut.com. 
Thanks again.